Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is the software review of the highly anticipated Dell Venue Pro running Windows Phone 7. Let's get to it. So in this video, we're going to talk about Windows Phone 7 in general. You probably know it already. You've seen it a lot. We're going to compare the Dell Venue Pro with the Samsung Focus, another Windows Phone 7 device, to see if there's any differences in performance between the two. Then we're going to do a web speed test across an Android device, Windows Phone 7, and uh, uh, an iPhone to see if the... Uh, if the Dell Venue Pro performs well when browsing the web. So first, let's talk about the functionality of the slider. Obviously, the Dell Venue Pro has this awesome slide-out keyboard, which you can use uh, to turn on the device and unlock the screen. Now, that's a good thing because the Dell Venue Pro's power button is awkwardly placed on the top, and it's really difficult to reach for, uh, especially since the device is so tall. So it's nice to be able to swide, slide open the keyboard, flip up the screen, and get into the phone quickly like that. Now, unfortunately, the, the slider doesn't have any other functionality, meaning you can't answer a call with it, you can't end a call with it, which is quite annoying. Another thing I've noticed after using this device is that when I've got the keyboard open and my fingers are down here, Sometimes there are elements at the top of the screen that I must reach for, and because the device is so tall, here's a perfect example, right? So I want to start typing up there. So I've got to take my hands, move all the way up there, and start typing. It's kind of inconvenient uh, having the device be so big, but if you're getting the Venue Pro, you probably uh, don't really mind that the device is so tall. Now, another inconvenience about the, uh, the keyboard is that it's not really well integrated into the operating system, but this is just a thing with Windows Phone 7. So you'd think from here, the start screen, you could just start typing and something would happen while well, nothing's going to happen. If we go into the People Hub, uh, you would think that you could look up contacts just by typing them. So let's say I want to find Evan. So I type Evan, nothing happens. So I've got to hit the, the search button and then dial Evan. And there we go. Um, so it's not perfectly integrated with the operating system, but it comes in, in handy when you're typing messages or doing a variety of other things. The keyboard is really good, but I gotta tell you, the on-screen keyboard I think is even better. Uh, the Windows Phone 7 on-screen keyboard is so good on certain devices like the Samsung Focus because it's big, it's easy to use, but on the Dell Venue Pro, uh, thanks to the larger screen, the 4.1 inch display, and thanks to the curved glass display, which I do think helps a little bit, uh, typing with the on-screen keyboard is a really good experience. So, so we type a new message, we could say, you know, this is a test. Fast speeds, right? Very accurate. Let's delete this. And by the way, when you have the keyboard open, it suppresses the on-screen keyboard. Here's the on-screen keyboard. This is a test. I think I can go even faster uh, with the on-screen keyboard than I can with the slide-out keyboard. But it's nice to have for very long emails because you get that tactile feedback. Now let's go back to the start screen. The screen sensitivity is really fantastic. The device port performs buttery smooth very well. Uh, there's some included applications on here that come with the Venue Pro. They're mostly T-Mobile programs like Family Room here. We're not going to get too much into them. So this will help you, you know, coordinate your family life if, you, if you've got a family on a T-Mobile plan. Uh, let's see what else we have that was included on here. My account, which will let you see sort of your minutes and your balance and that sort of thing. A finance application was added. Uh, Telenav GPS, T-Mobile TV. That's Twitter. That's not included. I added that. Um, so really just T-Mobile programs were added to this. Other than that, it's a standard Windows Phone 7 installation, and it's fast. So speaking of that, let's compare... Uh, the Dell Venue Pro's performance in opening apps and uh, browsing the web with that of the Samsung Focus, another Windows Phone 7 app, which we thought uh, was the fastest Windows Phone 7 app. But it turns out that the Dell Venue Pro might actually be a little bit faster. Um, now, should mention that the Samsung Focus here has been used as a daily device for, for a couple of months. So it's possible that it's slowed down a little bit by added programs. Uh, but... Microsoft would argue that Windows Phone 7 is not going to slow down if you add more programs. Who knows? Just telling you that. So let's move around and kind of get a general sense for how both of these devices perform. I know it's really hard to tell just by flicking around like that, but let's open Twitter at the same time. That wasn't Twitter. So let's move this up a little bit. We're going to open Twitter at the same time. It's the same up-to-date version of Twitter. Let's see which opens faster. Dell Venue Pro got the splash screen up first. 
timeline up first. Dell Venue Pro 1 in that situation. Okay, let's see how long it takes to launch Internet Explorer. Okay, in that case, the Samsung Focus 1. Let's go to a website here. We'll go to Engadget. Okay, so we've got Engadget here. Let's tap the Go button at the same time, hopefully. Looks like we were a little slow on this side. That's okay. Uh, we're going to tap on the same link and try to get them to race. Let's see here. Okay, and they're off. Okay, looks like the Samsung Focus was actually faster there. Okay, let's go back at the same time. Nexus S post here. And let's see here. Uh, looks like Dell Venue Pro finished there. So it's kind of a back and forth here. Uh, but overall, the Dell Venue Pro is opening up programs faster. Let's see how fast it gets into the Music Hub. Boom. Okay, the Samsung Focus was a little bit faster there. Let's scroll down, see we could jump into the calendar. Whoop. Going to the Maps application. Kind of doing a lot of mispresses here. So let's swipe over, launch into the calendar on both. Okay, so faster on the Dell Venue Pro. So the, both of these devices perform very, very well. They're very fast devices. Uh, I'd, I'd give the edge a little bit to the Dell Venue Pro. It just seems to open up screens so incredibly fast. Moving around the operating system, I'll tell you, if Microsoft added copy and paste and fast app switching, this would really be an awesome device. It already is, uh, but it's got some untapped power there that could really be taken advantage of uh, if, if, if the operating system could support those advanced features. Really good. Okay, so let's compare the Dell Venue Pro uh, with some other operating systems here in terms of the internet browsing speed. We're going to talk about um, Android 2.3 here on the Google Nexus S, and also, of course, the iPhone. Zoom out a little bit so we can get all of these in the frame. Okay, so we are going to go to the same website on all of these. They have no other tabs open. Now let's start off with good old Pocket now. Okay, so it's going to be pretty much impossible to do all three at the same time, but maybe we'll get lucky today. Let's try this. We're all on the same Wi-Fi network, by the way. Pretty good. It looks like it's actually launching Opera Mobile. Okay, fair. I've been using Opera Mobile as a default browser here um, in, uh, on, on the Nexus S. With Opera Turbo turned on, certainly we should turn that off. Okay, and so let's click on these top links here, if possible. See which is faster. Okay, so the iPhone was faster, followed by the Dell Venue Pro, followed by the Nexus S. Let's go to the bottom of the page so we can flip open the full desktop version of Pocket Now, sort of a more graphic, intense uh, version of the site. See if we can get this at the same time. Okay, maybe not at the same time, but we'll see how, uh, how, how this comes up. Obviously, the Dell Venue Pro is holding its own. It was the last to go there. And uh... All right, it looks like the, uh, the Nexus S finished first, followed by the v Venue Pro. Looks like the iPhone is struggling a little bit to keep up. So let's move around on these pages and see what it's like. Um, as you can see, uh, the Dell Menu Pro is showing us a little bit more text, or pretty much the same as the Nexus S. The iPhone sort of started out in a more zoomed out view. Let's see how smooth scrolling is. Very, very smooth on the Dell Venue Pro, although it's equally as smooth on, on these other two devices. Web browsing has really come a long way on smartphones. Just really good performance on the Dell Venue Pro in terms of internet and things like that, so we can move in, zoom around the screen. Just really good all-around performance, especially on the web. So let's just dive into a link here and watch it load. Of course, we have the full screen browsing if you go into landscape, which is a, a nice addition, although we still see the progress bar at the top. And, uh, and there we go. It's loading in, loading quite fast. 
So overall, the software on the Dell Venue Pro is, is great. It's running Windows Phone 7, which is a fast, beautiful operating system. The device itself is fast. We wish there was more functionality with the slider uh, so that you could just start typing, say, on the start screen, or so that you could answer calls and end calls with it. It's a really awesome form factor that we don't get to see that much. So the Dell Venue Pro gets very high marks. It's potentially uh, the fastest Windows Phone 7 device. We don't have benchmarking tools yet for Windows Phone 7, so it's hard to say that scientifically. But as you saw, compared to the Samsung Focus, most of the time it opened up screens faster, it loaded pages faster, but overall it is a powerful device uh, with a great software offering and the power of Windows Phone 7. So be sure to check pocketnow.com for the full Dell Venue Pro review. We'll have camera samples, video samples, full remarks on performance and battery life and things like that. You don't want to miss it, so check out pocketnow.com for more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.